Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I am so, so happy to be back making a video. I have been gone all of a week, I think, or just over a week. Uh, if you watched my last video, you will know that we have in fact moved. This is my new studio that I'm in uh, filming. Uh, so most videos, I guess, will come from here, which is good because it's a beautiful outlook and room and place to film. I'm still working on unpacking and getting everything together. Uh, so a lot isn't unpacked behind me. Also, probably just working on the angle or how I sort of want to shoot this. Today I'm here with May Favourites because I feel... That's probably what's next on my agenda because I do have a few. Uh, I do want to say excuse my nails. They are revolting from you moving. So in advance, sorry for that. So first up would be this. This is the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magic Base Pure Light Primer. Uh, it's a pure light is the name of it because it is super, super... Uh, shimmery pearlescent primer it's like no other primer I've ever tried but I am absolutely enjoying it I think it is so beautiful I just put a little bit there you can see that it comes out like a cream and it's got a beautiful kind of pearl to it so look there you can see when you put that on as a primer underneath it just gives such a beautiful glow to the skin and one pump gets me my whole face. Uh, again, it's expensive for drugstore here in Australia. I think it's like $29. I ordered this online from crushcosmetics.com. I like their site. And I had mentioned it in, was it my online haul? Or what's in my bag, my last video. It is the Milani Baked Blush in the color 05. Luminoso. This is their super famous color. It's usually sold out on a lot of sites. So I was really surprised when I saw that it was on Crush Cosmetics. It is the most beautiful peach. I have it on in this video. I just am really into peaches right now. That didn't really show up very well, did it? That was a really bad swatch, but... <laughs> It's, I'm really into peach at the moment. It's what I'm wearing right now, uh, but it's just so lovely. It's not too intense and it's just a beautiful, beautiful splash of like peachy, iridescent. It's probably a good spring summer color, but I don't, I just rock it whenever, whenever. So loving that Milani Baked Blushes. Four lashes in today's video, I am wearing these guys. Uh, I have my worn pair on my eyes, but this is a, a new box that I haven't used and I showed them in an on, my online haul, I think. These are Desire, which are a new style from Carissa's uh, lash brand called Socialize. I'm having the biggest memory loss right now. And this is a new pair to show you, but I'm really loving them. I know I get a lot of comments on my lashes just saying they're hideous, they're really big, they're not flattering, blah, blah, blah. I find that these are a lot more natural, shall we say. They're not too, too big and fluttery. They've got a nice wing at the bottom. And again, Carissa's lash lashes sorry, are such good prices. So I'll link her site below, but they are definitely a favorite and I'm glad I picked up a few of them. Lastly, in makeup and beauty are these two items. You did see me haul them in my last haul. Oh man, I'm forgetting my last videos are so bad. Uh, this is the Chanel Hydra Beauty Creme. Uh, yeah, the Hydra Beauty Cream. It's not the gel cream. It is just the regular creme. Uh, I made the specific choice to get just the creme because... I feel it's much more moisturizing for me. Now I know that a lot of people say it doesn't do anything, it doesn't work for me for that kind of price point. 
uh, why why do you like it or why do people like Chanel uh, Beauty skincare? I purely love this for the way my skin feels when it's on. I feel really hydrated. It feels really hydrated and <laughs> if you've watched me carry on about the smell of this Hydro Beauty cream, that is also why. It's just divine. It smells like heaven and we love it. So that is a fave because I repurchased it and this was my first time using this and I have used it every day since I got it. So it's a Laura Mercier translucent, people call it loose powder, loose setting powder, but it's not her white white one it's got a tinge of color to it but there is the information on the back and it is just fantastic i put this on with sort of a little uh one of my real techniques uh powdered cheeks brushes and you can see it's got a tint to it there so it kind of looks like a foundation uh setting powder or like a yeah tinted setting powder but it is so beautiful. You, you look highlighted, you look radiant, you look awake, even if you're not. And there's like all these different moving companies in your house, but <laughs> it just makes you ding, wake up. So they are 100% my beauty and sort of makeup faves for the month of May. Uh, this is gonna carry on to my fashion faves. <laughs> This little coin purse, the round coin purse from Louis Vuitton or the Port Monero in monogram canvas, which is the only thing it comes in unless it's a special edition coin purse. Uh, there's many different special edition coin purses uh, and they're cute because they have the chain uh, such as uh, the Verne Roses uh, by Stephen Sprouse, the Groom Collection, which has the bell hop on it and they're gorgeous. But this guy is, as much as you um and ah, or you may um and ah about getting it for the price and do I need it and will I use it and I'll just put coins in my purse down the track. This has come in such handy dandiness. I showed you my wallet collection, my luxury wallet collection that you can use it as like a downsized wallet, put uh, notes in it. You can't fit cards in it obviously. But notes, my car key fits in here and just, you know, go do your errands like that. This has definitely been a favourite this month, mainly because I have been carrying a certain bag that I will show you. Um, I changed out from my boy in my last video uh, to my uh, Birkin. And this, this has been really handy because extra coins have been in this. And then when I don't, necessarily want to take the whole Birkin. I just grab this and throw some uh, bills in it um, and and go off and do errands that way and it's just been really cute, perfect for like a coin capsule. You've got your uh, uh, leather lined interior so you don't have to worry about staining with coins and it's just such a great little item. I've had a few emails saying it's so hard to find. Is it like going to be like the sunglass case, like you can never find it? Uh, you really have to ring around your essays. You have to ring around the boutiques to track them down. Maybe they've restocked them and they've got more of them. Uh, but if you can get one, grab it because I'm pretty sure you won't regret it. This thing is so handy. And I was on the fence, guys, like on the fence that I was going to need this in my life. Like another pouch, really, Jerusha? Next fashion favourite are these guys. I have broken them in, that's what I like to say. I have to wear them for probably just a little over a week straight to really break them in to know, uh, like, I won't necessarily need a shoehorn to get them on anymore. I asked Michael from, from the Chanel Westfield Bondi Junction if he had a Chanel shoehorn that I could get or buy or have and he said only Paris have those. I was like, hello, 
Call up Paris, yo, send me some shoehorns with Chanel on them, amazing. But my mum actually had a spare shoehorn because, you know, we don't have one here. And uh, yeah, that's how I've been getting them on because with the belly, trying to get over the belly to begin with, I would say the first week or week or two weeks of wearing espadrilles, everything is so tight that you definitely need some sort of shoehorn probably to help you get them on and off sometimes but nevertheless these are chanel espadrilles in the beige claire uh the beige um lambskin with the black lambskin toe and the espadrille base i got these you saw me haul these a couple of videos ago and i'm so happy to say they are broken in now uh, not as much obviously as my black. My black can slip on just like a pair of slippers, but nevertheless, they are so amazing. I'm a total fan of espadrilles. A lot of the time I see, like actually, I just saw Karis. Hi babe! I just saw Karis's video on her luxury shoe collection. And I was like, oh, I definitely need a pair of ballerinas in my life. But I feel like as much as I do want them, they might be way harder to break in. Let me know in the comments below if you have a pair of the Chanel ballerinas and if they're a lot harder to break in uh, than espadrilles. You may know, you may not, but we like those. We, we, we really like, and in the red, girl, Karis has them in the red. Amazing. Just funny, <laughs> but definitely a favorite for this month. And pretty much, I'm gonna say a favorite for this year and life and pregnancy and birth hopefully in the hospital these uggs that i hauled um the, a couple of videos ago are just fantastic so they are ugg australia slipper uggs uh, i got them because i think on like the bump.com or something i read that try and get slippers from now on so you don't have to bend over your belly when you're pregnant to put slippers on and uggs are amazing because they have a hard sole sorry these are a bit dirty and the tops are a bit dirty i wear them everywhere around the house inside around the grass areas of the property and i just wipe them off and i you know scrub my feet on the doormats and then wipe them down if they're really dirty like they are now but you can see that that the lamb skin has flattened Ooh. You can see that the lamb skin has flattened over time as I did say it will do in that video. They are so, so comfortable and to the point where I was speaking to Jen, hi Jenny, Jen G, and saying that I just would love to maybe even try on those Gucci mules with the hair, with the, I don't, I don't even know what it is. I think it's, I don't know, I heard it might be kangaroo hair. And I was like, they were so cute and I was going crazy because I'm like, oh my gosh, these Uggs are so comfortable. Maybe I should look into those Gucci mules. And I don't know, one night, I told Jen one night, I was showing my husband, I was like, how cool are these? Like they're Gucci loafers, but they don't have a back and they've got fur, their fur lined. And he was like, ew, they are so ugly. One, two, they look like you're walking on a dead rat. Needless to say, Jerusha didn't get the mules. And my last two items are here. One is this bag, but in it is the first one I will show you. This guy. I did the unboxing of this uh, Chanel chevron card case in the dark red is what it is uh, listed as and I just adore it. I adore it so much. I love taking it out, using it as just a plain card holder. Right now it's just got business cards and a, my parents condo swipe key on it but Man, just like the round coin purse, I thought these this wasn't necessary in my lifestyle, whether it was Chanel or Vuitton. But now that I have it, I don't know if it's just because I'm so obsessed with the Chevron collection or red in Chanel, 
which is just so timeless, but it is such a gorgeous little item. Absolutely gorgeous. I would, however, say, I don't know, I don't think I'm banging around, but I'm definitely <laughs> noticing these corners are just kind of getting a little bit, a little, a tiny bit worn down pretty quickly. Uh, but nevertheless, we still absolutely adore it. That's fine. And it sits inside my smorga bag organizer, which just came. I think if you saw one of my last videos, I said I do want to show you how I pack my Birkin or what's in my Birkin uh, bag, but I had to wait for a bag organizer that was coming and I eventually settled on happily on a Samorga bag organizer made for the Birkin 35 centimeter because I was going to go for a Forby from Hermes, the actual Forby that's made for Birkins, but it's not structured it's just the canvas and even though I love the smushiness I love the vintageness I love how it's just broken in and delicious and mushy this the way I was explaining that I I got my charm it's still on my speedy and somebody asked me why in one of my Instagram posts and that's because we just moved so it was there otherwise yeah it would be on the front of this holding the clasps as I showed you what I got the charm for, but with the bag organizer, I don't necessarily need to, if that makes sense. The bag organizer just instantly gave this Birkin like extra life. It just makes it sit up nice and square, a little bit more structured, not too structured, not like a new bag. And yeah, it's, well, I rave about smaller bag organizers. I still, haven't done a review on my never full one, but this is the one with the two, I call them bottle compartments, but obviously I don't put a bottle, bottle of water in there. Uh, but the two round compartments on the side, here is just my sunglasses, like so, in, in there, so you can see that. Uh, but Samorga felt bag organizers are just amazing. And it's just given life to this Birkin. It's just made it a lot, you know, a lot more sturdier. And I just, yeah, I, I kind of knew that it would make me just go, oh, okay, that's what I needed to just really work well with it. I am going to say, the bag alone is incredibly heavy. And now with the Samorga in it and packing it the way I do, it's really heavy to the point where it's like carrying a piece of luggage. I think that's the commitment you have to make with a Birkin. You have to know that it is a full leather, heavy leather bag and leather lined. And that's just the commitment you make to a Birkin, I guess, is that it's not a lightweight shoulder bag, it's a top handle, and you just have to get used to that. I do want to review it, I do want to show you how I pack it, sorry I'm so out of breath, <laughs> um, show you how I pack it and what's in it, uh, maybe that will be coming up soon, but honestly, one of the most amazing decisions I've made in my bag collection to downsize, streamline my collection, gather up the money and invest in this guy, again an amazing deal from Randolph Tokyo. So that is it guys, that completes my May favourites for this video. I'm just so happy to be back making videos. I think that unpacking just, you know, gets gets to the wit's end and you just want to do something different. Uh, I've been taking my time, I see all your comments on Instagram. Mwah! Thank you to everybody, so much love, just like take it easy Jerusha, your preggers. Uh, take it nice and slow, which it's true, and that's what I've done. And yeah, so I'm so glad I could be back. I know it's a bit later in the afternoon, so it's not all natural light, but we'll play around. We'll see what happens in this studio. And yeah, so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this favourites, guys. If you liked it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be great too. I will see you in my next video guys, take care, peace.